Hey there, Addison here from Gitbook. Today, we're going to dive into one of our most powerful features, GitSync. GitSync allows you to hook up any repository hosted on GitHub or GitLab to any of your spaces in Gitbook. Any changes you make in Gitbook will be merged into your remote repository, and any changes you make in your repository will be updated in Gitbook. This video will cover all the setup you need to get started while also looking into some of the configuration options you can use to easily fit Gitbook into any workflows you're already using. Let's dive in! Before we get started, we're going to need a space in Gitbook already set up. If you don't already have one, you can head to the lower left-hand corner to create a new space that you'd like to sync with your repository. Once we've created a space, we can start setting up GitSync via the tray at the bottom of our document or through the menu icon in the upper right. In order to sync a Gitbook space with a repository, you'll first need to authenticate your user account with either GitHub or GitLab, depending on which service you'd like to use. For this video, I'm going to be using GitHub. I already have a repository here set up, which we'll be using for the rest of this video. Start by clicking on the menu icon in the upper right corner, and then synchronize with Git. From here, you can choose the provider you'd like to use. Next, you can authenticate your account by signing into the provider you're using. If you're using GitHub and haven't already, you might be prompted to add the Gitbook app to your GitHub account. This is required in order to complete the GitHub setup. After authenticating, you're able to choose the account and the repository you'd like to sync. Keep in mind that if you're trying to sync a private repository, you may need to configure your provider settings in order to see the repository you'd like. From here, you can choose the branch if you'd only like to sync your Gitbook with a specific version. As you continue to configure GitSync, there are two extra options you can use to further customize how you'd like your integration to work. The Mono Repo section allows you to specify a directory in your repository that Gitbook will read from. By default, It'll sync your repository at the root, so by adding a specific directory in this section, you can be sure that Gitbook will only work with the files you want. This is also a useful feature if you include different product docs within a single repository, allowing you to create different Gitbook spaces for each of your products. There's also a section here for you to customize the commit messages that you'll see when you make a change in Gitbook. Make sure you head to our documentation to read more about customizing your commit messages. Finally, you'll need to set which content you'd like to use for the initial sync. Git sync is bi-directional, meaning content will be synced on both sides, regardless if you make an edit in your repository or in Gitbook. This being said, we'll still need to choose here which content we'd like to use for our initial sync. If your content is already in GitHub or GitLab, choose the first option to import this content into Gitbook. Alternatively, if you've already written content in Gitbook and would like to use this instead, Choose the second option. Keep in mind that whatever option you choose will overwrite the content in the other space. After you have everything configured, you can click Synchronize to finish the setup. If you have a lot of images or content in your repository, the initial setup might take some time. Keep in mind that you won't be able to change any of these options after it's set up, but you will be able to remove and reinitialize GitSync if you need to update your configuration. Now that we have everything set up, let's take a look what happens when we make some edits to our content. Let's start by making a change to one of the pages in our repository. In most cases, you'll end up making a change to your content in the form of a pull request. This allows you to suggest the changes you'd like to make to your content in a way that allows for reviews, feedback, and better overall collaboration with those involved. After making a pull request, you should see an automatic check running, which is the Gitbook app in the background generating our preview link, so you can see your changes in the context of the rest of your content. Keep in mind that preview links are only supported in our GitHub integration at this point. If you don't see this option, double check and make sure you have the Gitbook app installed in your GitHub account. Once we're happy with our changes, we can merge our pull request to see our changes applied to our Gitbook space. Making an update in Gitbook is easy, and allows you to make suggested changes to your content through change requests. 
Any change requests you merge into the main content will be synced to your provider and added to the repository through a commit. If you're looking for further customization, you're able to add a gitbook.yaml file to the root of your project. This file allows you to specify things like the structure of your gitbook and add any redirects you'd like to use throughout your documentation. Make sure you head to our product docs to learn more. GitSync allows you to work seamlessly with your already existing content in gitbook and helps teams collaborate using the tools they already know and love. If you're looking to learn more about Gitbook or have any ideas that you'd like to share, head over to our GitHub community to start the discussion. Thanks for using Gitbook, and see you next time.